Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. It's Friday, August 13th. Breaking news today, COVID EIDL 2.0 is set to begin next week. This has important changes to the EIDL loan program, including raising the limit to $2 million and changing what you can use these EIDL loans for, including certain types of debt you can now use EIDL loans to help pay off plus some surprising survey results from business owners on what they predict will happen in the coming months. I'll keep this video short. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you wanna help us reach more people, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us be seen in the YouTube algorithm and tell us what you think about these changes in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing, turning on those alerts. Okay, let me dive right in. The SBA has been doing some closed webinars. On Wednesday, they did a closed webinar to the National Restaurant Association to talk about new EIDL options. Also, they did a webinar for the American Hotel and Lodging Association. And we had a couple other sources confirm this information that next week, COVID EIDL 2.0 will go live. Many things are staying the same, but here is what's changed. And this is directly from the SBA. Let me talk about what's changed. First on the cap, it is being raised from 500,000 up to 2 million. Here's how it's calculated right here, your 2019 revenue minus your 2019 cost of goods sold times two. That equals your max loan amount up to $2 million. So for everyone who's gotten the EIDL loan increase, many of you are still waiting. According to our last survey, only around 30% of people have gotten their EIDL loan increase. 30% are still waiting and around 40% have been denied or are applying for reconsideration. So if you've hit the 500K cap, that means you're probably likely for extra money up to $2 million. The calculation is still based on 24 months of the business's gross margin. I'll show you how you can find that on your tax return. Also a minimum credit score of 570. And the other personal guarantees and collateral stay the same. Now, two big changes on what you can use the funding for. You can now use it for prepayment of commercial debt, such as business credit cards, etc. And you can use it to pay down other federal government debt, both the principal and interest. So that is also new. Now, at this point, you probably already have your gross revenue and cost of goods sold. And that's what you use to apply on the original COVID-19 EIDL application. This is the streamlined application, of course. But if you want to double check, here's an example for any C-Corps out there. This is the U.S. Corporation Income Tax Return, Form 1120. Again, this is for illustrational and entertainment purposes only. But line one here has your gross receipts and sales, and line two has your cost of goods sold. That'll tally up to your total income on line 11. But we've made it even easier. In the last few hours, we've put up a calculator so you can calculate your EIDL loan increase amount. Let me show you a few examples here. First example, let's say your 2019 revenue was $1 million, you had zero cost of goods sold, and you've already received a $500,000 EIDL loan. Let's calculate your loan potential. Based on this information and the current EIDL formula and loan limit, you would be eligible for a total loan of $2 million, which means you would be eligible for an additional $1.5 million. Again, these are long-term 30-year loans, 3.75% interest rate. You can play around here with some of the numbers. Let's say your cost of goods is $500,000. Based on the formula, that means you would be eligible for a total of 1 million. So in this case, you'd be eligible for an extra $500,000. One more example here. Let's say your 2019 revenue is $250,000. You had zero cost of goods sold. That means you would be eligible for an EID loan of $500,000 in total. That's basically the minimum threshold. If your total gross margin is 250k in 2019 you multiply that by two you get the 500k amount you can play around with lots of different scenarios if your revenue was 500k in 2019 your cost of goods sold 100k and you already received 500k you may be eligible for an additional three hundred thousand dollars to try this out for yourself go to eidl2.com that's eidl2.com it's free You'll have to create a free account, it takes 10 seconds. Then you can click your email to log into your dashboard and click on EIDL loan increase calculator and start plugging in your numbers and seeing what you're potentially eligible for because this apparently will go live next week, August 16th. That's Monday. We don't know the full details here, whether the SBA is going to say, okay, everyone who could potentially qualify, because remember, they should have all of your tax returns by now. Let's hope they don't ask for any more tax returns if they've already approved you. I know for many of you, it's been a hassle. If they have those on file, they've already verified your 2019 revenues, cost of goods sold. They could basically say, go to your SBA portal and see what you are potentially eligible for. 
toggle if you want an increase and click to apply. I would anticipate there'll be another loan officer review just to make sure everything's looking okay, maybe some follow-up questions. But at this point, it should be pretty straightforward because in most cases, you've already been approved. Now, for those of you in reconsideration now, that should wrap up in the next few days. Remember, the SBA said they will clear the backlog by mid-August, and hopefully they're getting through many of the reconsideration requests. I know that's going to help many of you. The application period for the revised EIDL program, EIDL 2.0, that's why we got the domain EIDL2.com to see the calculator and to see our new funding tracker. AHLA is encouraging members to apply as soon as possible since Congress may attempt to use some of the program's funding to pay for pending legislation. I don't think that's a risk to the EIDL loan program. We know that's what's happening for the targeted EIDL grants, around 20 billion that's being taken away for the infrastructure bill. However, it's still unclear when the House of Representatives will vote on the infrastructure bill. I did a video on some of those bills yesterday, including the $3.5 trillion budget. That's the anti-poverty and climate change budget. It's massive. I highly recommend watching that video above. Meanwhile, the Wall Street Journal talked to small businesses. They report that less than 40% of small firms say they expect economic conditions to improve. One of the quotes, it seems like it's just a bust. I'd love to hear from you in the comments, of course, and we'll run a poll about this in the next couple days. But here it is, 39% of small business owners expect economic conditions in the US to improve in the next 12 months, down from 50% in July and 67% in March, according to a survey of more than 560 small businesses for the Wall Street Journal. The share of business owners who expect economic conditions to worsen also grew, but more slowly to 20% from 15% a month earlier, the survey found. And despite the rising case counts, it does not look like there'll be more lockdowns, but more and more places are talking about requiring vaccination cards. Okay, as we wrap, two quick shout outs to reviewers. First to Noelle Burke right here. She left us a review on Google Play. Excellent resource for my small business. Every small business owner should use this app. Thank you so much, Noelle. And one more from Joy Gypsies. Skip offers up-to-date accurate information that I need to know on what's happening with the SBA's COVID relief for my business. It is my first source of ongoing information from what the SBA is doing. Thanks, Skip. Happy I'm a paid member. Thank you so much, Joy Gypsies. And don't forget, if you wanna calculate your potential EIDL loan increase, or set up your funding tracker. You can go to EIDL2.com to quickly log in and see this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so more people see this information on COVID EIDL 2.0. Most importantly, have a great weekend. Stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.